All right, everyone, it's Friday, and I have our... There's somebody working outside, <laughs> and my ring doorbell keeps going off, so I apologize. All right, this is an update for the week of June 16th through 23rd. Now, I missed last week because I went away to the beach with my family for my early 60th birthday party. So um, if you're new here, I'm Robin Cavallaro. I'm a realtor here in Florida. I primarily sell in the villages. If you're looking to buy or sell, learn about the lifestyle, I'm the girl to call. Also, check out my book. Before we start, make sure you go to my website, robincavallaro.com, and here's the address here. Uh, you can search for any home that's available here, well, in Florida, but in the villages. And what I've done is I've broken it down by sections. So if you want to search the historic area, you want to search Marion County, you want to search south of 44, and on and on. You can just click on it and search it. You can save the searches. It'll send you emails with market updates. You get notes from me all of the time reminding you, hey, I'm here. Do you need help? So don't forget, go and search my website and also get my book. It's available in Amazon on print, in print on Amazon. Also, you can get it on Kindle or as a download on my website. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. And before we get started, just a real quick minute, okay? So I got, I ordered some samples from my merchandise that you can get on Redbubble. And I don't know if you can see that. That's a little girl's t-shirt. That's for my granddaughter, Stella. And I have this in a couple of colors. It's really cute. This is a size two. She's um, uh, she's nine months, so I think this will fit her. Maybe a little bit big, but it's really cute. I also have this in a journal um, on Amazon, so I thought that was cute. I wanted to show you, but this is for Clara, and you can see that future pickleball star. Anybody out there with grandchildren who are aspiring? to be the next Anna Lee Waters. You gotta get one Someone of these. You can get it in black, you can get it, I'm sorry, <laughs> or white, different colors. You can get it on a mug, a sticker, um, a hoodie. There's all different types of products, pbzone40.com. And also, then I got this. Pickleball, you can see that. Pickleball's my therapy, and that is a coaster. How cool. All right. It's been a busy couple of weeks as I've spoken about. I had quite a few sales and I have several people in the hopper looking for homes. So it's really exciting time. Um, active on the market, we have 343 homes. And actually what I've started to do is I have one book. I know I keep hawking all my stuff. This is uh, one of my journals. I think that's cool. You can get that on a shirt too. But now I'm going to keep all of my weekly activity in one place so I can reference it back and forth really easily. So active on the market, 343. And like I said, we're hovering over that um, consistently. New to market, we had 38 homes. Um, 56 homes of the 343 took a price reduction. And, you know, I'm seeing that all over the place. Um, some homes are still probably not competitively priced, uh, which is why they're taking reductions. A lot of the homes are sitting on the market. I find the hottest market is that 350 to 450, I'm moving a lot of homes in that. And also, um, I'm not, I can't talk about this publicly, but if you're an investor and you're looking in that $500,000 range and looking for uh, a home that's a great rental opportunity, I want you to message me, call me, email, text me, and I'll give you some of the details, but I can't talk about it publicly. Um, but it's something that you might be interested in. So make sure uh, you take a look at that. Okay. So pending homes, we had 42. I'm just gonna adjust my seat here. Cause... There we go. We have 42 homes act, um, that went pending. Someone was detected at their front door. <laughs> you think there was a crew of 20 people out there. <laughs> I really don't know how to turn that off, but anyway. Um, of the 42 homes, two, we're on the market zero to one day. So they went pending this past week and they have been on the market zero to one day. On the market two to seven days, we had six and 100 plus days on the market. There were four that went pending. Um, sold, 
we had 25 and of that, I think just one was, well, it was actually two, but it hasn't been recorded. They haven't marked it uh, sold yet, but I had two. Um, of the 25 homes, 18 were cash. So still cash is king. Five were conventional financing, one was VA and one was FHA. And of the homes that sold, three had been on the market zero to one days. So what that means is they had been on the market zero to one day and they closed this week. Now it could have been cash, could have been finance. So, you know, it could have been, uh, you know, negotiated two weeks ago or six weeks ago. I don't know. Um, two to seven days, we have four and then a hundred plus we had two. Um, I'm going to include this because I don't want this video to be an hour and a half long. Well, some of these videos I end up are half an hour, but I want to get this out to everyone and into my email. And remember, if you want to, I talked about this when I talked about the book, but you can search on my website and I want to thank all of the new subscribers. I think, I mean, I've only had it on there three or four weeks maybe. And I'm close to 600 people that have signed up to search. So I appreciate that. Again, you'll get text messages and emails from me. You will get um, listings. And you got to remember the MLS is not like the VLS. The VLS is a pro pro bleh, proprietary system. They can set it up however they want. So you can search by village and you can search by model where you can't in the MLS because the MLS is really geared for all real estate transactions, not just those in the villages. So I forgive me, please. If you start to get homes that don't fit your specific criteria, like we can't search a courtyard, we can't search a veranda specific model. It's really going to search price, size, room size, and then you do have some selections if you want to pick a pool home, you know, for you know, all kinds of stuff, and you will find that in there. It's kind of similar to Zillow, but better, because on my site. Anyhow, make sure you uh, check that out. And you also can make notes and send me notes, and I keep those snapshots so I know what you're looking at, any questions that you have, and again, any opinion and any questions that you have. So I'm going to use this um, as an example, and then I'm going to talk to you about some homes I want you to take a look at. Um, I did have a viewer ask me about a home that had sold, and I won't give you the address, but he's like, this looks something perfect for us. What do you think? So I told him I had been in that home and I was prepared to video it for the listing agent. And when I went through the home, um, I told her, I said, listen, I, I would love to put this on the channel, you know, but I have to talk about it as a fixer upper because this is not a move and ready home. Um, because just by looking at the home and comparing it to other homes in the market at that price range and that size, uh, this home, the only thing good about it were the kitchen countertops. <laughs> that was it. I was on a busy road. All the floors needed to come up. The bathrooms needed redone. The kitchen needed redone. Um, from what my customers talk about and from the market, the house is a disaster. So um, I told her, I said, I have to put this as a fixer upper and she was not okay with that. So I just didn't video it. Um, but he did ask me my opinion, um, and since I had firsthand knowledge, I gave it to him, and it had already been sold. But um, yeah, and he agreed with me, and he thanked me for being so honest, and that's why they want to work with me. You know, it's this little plug for me. All right, so um, last in this little quick update, I know I say it quick, and I just talk on, my hands keep moving. Uh, the I have three homes I want you to take a uh, no, there's actually four, four homes, wrong page. Four homes I want you to take a look at. First one, 941 Kingmont. Now I sold 971 Kingmont from a video. I'm going to video this one as well, but this is an adorable home just north of 466, has cooking gas, it's completely updated on the inside, newer roof. I don't think this is going to last too long. But um, I want you to take a look at that and call me if you want a private tour or you have any questions about it because I really like this one. This one is Robin approved. Um, if you're on a budget, 
1609 Campos, that's a smaller, I think there was a one bed, one bath, but if you're looking to get in the villages and you don't have a lot of money to spend, that might be a great opportunity for you. 1609 Campus. Um, and then, wait, was there one? Oh, Ariel, 1601 Ariel. I went in that the other day with a client. I had a client bid on that a couple weeks ago, or months ago, and there was an issue with it and the deal fell apart. No, there wasn't anything wrong with the house. It needed updating, but my people knew that. It had to do with um, some legal things, so it was nothing you know, with the house. But the people who bought it, flipped it, and man, did they do a nice job. They fixed everything that my people were gonna fix, they fixed. So I want you to take a look at that. Um, one, uh, that's 1601 Ariel, that's in Sunset Point. And it's in a great spot, about a mile and a half from Sumter Landing. And if you have any questions about these homes, again, I've been in them, you can call me and ask me. I'll give you my opinion, tell you what I think, or I'll do a personal video for you. And last but not least is my listing at 741 Rockingham. Now this is a premier home. It is one of the last premier neighborhoods that the village is built. I have an open house on it tomorrow. Tomorrow is June 24th from 11 to 2 p.m. It's listed for $899,000. A public record has it at 2,500 square feet because there is an enclosed Florida room that's not part of the total square footage and it has the sliders, the hideaway sliders. So it's um, another 480 square feet, brings it over 3,000, 10 foot ceiling, crown molding, oversized garage, magic steps, beautiful neighborhood. You gotta check it out. All right. I think that's all I got. It's been raining here. We've got a lot of rain this week and uh, it's good because we really needed it. And uh, I'm gonna stop this episode here. I gotta go get my granddaughter. She's working today. We have to show two homes and I have to video a home. So Clara Ray Daigle, get your badge on. You are my unlicensed real estate assistant today. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you. Every, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching this episode. I'm Robin Cavallaro. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you check out the next episode. I think you might like it. All right. Until the next video, I'll see you.